although no longer considered the fastest network mode at this time. 4G LTE is still the most widely used around the world. Some carriers have already rolled out 5G networks, but they are still significantly few, and only a small number of locations enjoy them. So, if your Galaxy S10 has an issue with 4G, it can really be a frustration situation. Find out how to fix your Galaxy S10 as its 4G LTE connection is not working below. How to fix Galaxy S10 won't connect to 4G LTE slash 4G LTE not working. If your Galaxy S10 is unable to connect to 4G LTE network, you must do a number of troubleshooting to fix it. Learn how to fix your Galaxy S10 if 4G LTE is not working on it. Fix number one, restart device. If 4G LTE is not working on your Galaxy S10, the first troubleshooting step that you want to do is refresh the system. This is usually effective in fixing network problems caused by minor or temporary bugs. Sometimes a user simply needs to restart the device to fix network problems. If you haven't tried this yet, be sure to do so. What you want to do is called soft reset. This is basically a restart with the aim of clearing the system by simulating the effects of a battery pull. To do that, simply press and hold the power and volume down buttons for about 10 seconds. Once the phone has restarted, release the buttons. This is usually effective in clearing bugs that developed when a system is left running for some time. We suggest that you restart your Galaxy S10 using this method at least once a week to lessen the chances of bugs. Fix number two, reinsert SIM. Another way to force an S10 to detect 4G LTE is by disconnecting its SIM card temporarily. By doing this, the system will reattempt to put in new network configuration, which can sometimes help in clearing minor bugs. In order to avoid corrupting data, make sure to turn your phone off first before you remove the SIM card. Do the same before the card is reinserted. Fix number three, check signal. If 4G LTE is not working and the signal keeps disappearing on your device, that's an indication that there may be a network issue. If you previously had good LTE connection in the same area, try to move to an open location where the signal might be stronger. To check, you can use another compatible device. Make sure that the second phone works with the same network before and is LTE capable. Insert your SIM card to it and see if it's showing 4G LTE or not. If 4G network mode shows up and working normally, that can mean that there's a problem with your S10. Continue troubleshooting it by following our suggestions below. If the opposite is true, then you should consider getting help from your network operator. Fix number four, manually select 4G LTE network. In some cases, manually selecting a network mode can force network configuration to change and fix issues. If you haven't tried this yet, follow these steps to manually force the device to use 4G LTE. Open settings app, tap connections, tap mobile networks, tap network mode, Depending on your options, you should select the one that indicates 4G or similar to this, LTE 3G2G, Auto Connect. Restart the device and check for the problem. Fix number five, refresh system cache. If 4G LTE stopped working after installing Android Update, there may be a problem with the system cache. Sometimes the system cache may become corrupted or outdated after system-wide changes like after an update. To check, Try clearing the cache partition so Android will be forced to build a new one. Here's how to do it. Turn off the device. Press and hold the volume up key and the Bixby key, then press and hold the power key. When the green Android logo displays, release all keys. Installing system update will show for about 30, 60 seconds before showing the Android system recovery menu options. Press the volume down key several times to highlight wipe cache partition. Press power button to select Press the volume down key until yes is highlighted and press the power button. When the wipe cache partition is complete, reboot system now is highlighted. Press the power key to restart the device. Fix number six, install updates. From time to time, new network bugs are discovered, so carriers will have to release fixes for them. These solutions are sometimes bundled with system updates in case the cause of the 4G LTE not working problem is known by your network operator and they've already created a fix for them. Make sure to install updates. Fix number seven, restart to safe mode. Another possible reason for your problem is a bad third party app. Try running the device to safe mode to check. Here's how. Press and hold the power button until the power off window appears, then release. Touch and hold power off until the safe mode prompt appears, then release. 
The process may take up to 30 seconds to complete. Upon reboot, Safe Mode appears in the lower left of the home screen. Remember that third-party applications are disabled in this mode, so what you can use are pre-installed apps. If the 4G LTE not working issue won't appear on Safe Mode, that means that the problem is due to a bad app. Uninstall the app you recently installed and see if that will fix it. If the problem remains, use the process of elimination to identify the rogue app. Here's how. Boot to safe mode. Check for the problem. Once you've confirmed that a third-party app is to blame, you can start uninstalling apps individually. We suggest that you begin with the most recent ones you added. After you uninstall an app, restart the phone to normal mode and check for the problem. If your S10 is still problematic, repeat steps 1-4. Fix number 8. Reset network settings. Some forms of 4G LTE not working issue are attributed to bad network configuration. Try to reset the network settings and see if it helps. From the home screen, swipe up on an empty spot to open the apps tray. Tap General Management, then Reset. Select Reset Network Settings. Tap Reset Settings. Once complete, a confirmation window will appear. Fix number nine, Factory Reset. Should none of the solutions above has worked so far, consider wiping the phone with Factory Reset. Factory Reset will wipe the software and bring all setting to their working factory state. If the reason for the issue is software in nature, Factory Reset might help. This is the easiest way to wipe your Galaxy S10. All you have to do is to go under Settings menu and follow the steps below. We recommend this method if you have no trouble going under Settings. Create a backup of your personal data and remove your Google account. Open Settings app. Scroll to and tap General Management. Tap Reset. Select Factory Data Reset from the given options. Read the information then tap Reset to continue. Tap Delete All to confirm action. Use Volume Down to highlight Yes. Press the Power button to confirm Factory Reset. Fix Number 10 Contact Carrier If 4G LTE is still not working at this time, you must get help from your network operator. After doing the suggestions above, you've already established the fact there's no issue with your device at all. The most likely cause is coming from your network, so be sure to talk to them about this. That's it! If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate if you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. Thank you.